Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries, and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace, an invincible standard. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, let us pray for all devout and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexios and all our brotherhood in Christ. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, and life-giving, undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on an earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice. From his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God. For you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This, is, this deliverance is the Lord's upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not. Chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. 
A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you. My groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me a ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. Those who are rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and now how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choices fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth, and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was clothed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your, gra your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day, they close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance is so wretched am I. O oh Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O oh Lord. <clears throat> bless the Lord, O oh my soul, may all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel children. The Lord is one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As 
kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed. Remember as we are only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness you will destroy my enemies, and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the Holy and Great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious the dead, all the sin, and the virgin, and the virgin, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios kepefan en imi, evlogimenos o erchumenos, en onomati Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Him.
himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Όντα τα έθνη κυκλωσάμε και το όνομα του Κυρίου ημιν αμήν αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και επεφανέν ημιν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόμα του Κυρίου. This came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Tus tris megis tus fostiras tis trisiliu theotitos, tus tinikumeni naktis idogmaton thion porsesandos. Τους μελυρίτους ποταμούς της Σοφίας, τους τυχτής συμπόσα θεογνωσίας, να μας είναι καταρδεύσαντας βασίλειον το Μέγα και τον Θεολόγο Γρηγορίον, συν το κλεινό Ιωάννη, το τυγλώτα χρυσορήμονη, Πάντε εσύ τον λόγον αυτόν εραστέ, συνελθώντες ύμνης τιμήσομε αυτή η γαρτή τριάδη, υπερημών αϊπρεσβεύουσι. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as like manner to the apostles, teachers of the Christian world, intercede with the Master of all, to grant peace to the whole world, and great mercy to our souls. Look now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, through you became manifest to us on earth a mystery, which was hid from eternity and which the angels themselves knew not, that God uniting natures without confusion becomes a man and accepts crucifixion for our salvation voluntarily by virtue of this resurrecting man whom he had first created he saved our souls from death <laughs> Antilavus, also a lesson, can the Aphilax on the mass of the host is Icarity. Kyrie eleison. Tis Panaia sacrando hypervolia. Hyperagia theotoke sosoni mo. At a pandon tonaium in my absandes. E aftus kerilus ke passant in zoi nimon. Christoto theo parathomathos. Kyrie. Otis on to Kratos ke sevastini vasadia ke dinimis ke idoxa. Tu patros que te viu que tu ayud nem matros, nin que aí que isto se monas tão neono. Amém. Most ready and luminaries of the Church of Christ, O fathers made wise by God, you have enlightened the world with your dark presentries, reducing every error. And her teaching, extinguishing the fiery confusion of blasphemers, and therefore, O hierarchs of Christ, intercede that we be saved. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of Christ our God, all Lord and Virgin most pure. O Mary, the bride of God, an unwedded maiden, the help of believers all, save us from every danger and all manner of hardship. O Lady Theotokos, as we run to your shelter, with ardent faith and longing, O only bride of God. Having flown like bees within, 
the field of holy writ. You did this carefully select from its flowers that was the best, and you produced the honey of your teaching. And now you set them out for all the faithful to feast on the sweetness of your words as in full course meal. And therefore everyone has been sweetened, cries out to you in gladness, again be with us who now extol you. O oh, blessed fathers, even after death. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Without conscience I am tossed about by storms the passions bring. Hence I fervently invoke you to assist me, O pure maid. Since you gave birth to the abyss of mercy, leave me not to drown, wretched coward that I am. For except for you, <coughs> I have no other hope. <coughs> Let me not become the laughing stock of demons, for I have placed my hope in you, and you are able to do as you as a mother of the God of all. Let us faithfully magnify today those most wise teachers of the universe for while on earth they glorify the God of all by their deeds and words and they promoted salvation for mankind. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. On this day, the Church of Christ is celebrating the August and Gala Feast of three great teachers of the Church, for they support and they strengthen her by their divine words and dogmas inspired by God. Give both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. On a will guardian of those in trouble, ardent helper of the ones who place their every hope on you, from every danger deliver me. You are the help and assistance of all in need. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, most the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
grass in the fire. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, every soul is animated. And when purified, it is mystically uplifted and brightened by the triumph God has. now and ever and through the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit, the streams of grace well forth. They water all creation, so that light be engendered. Ierisu kiri en dison dedikiosinin, ke iosisu agaliosi agaliosun de. Water priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness, your saints shall greatly rejoice. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart understanding. O Lord, your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Passap noi en esato ton kirio. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. The Lord said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. He who is a hireling and not a shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hireling and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. As the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them in also, and they will heed my voice, so that there shall be one flock and one shepherd. According to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. 
You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desire sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings of whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls upon your altar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Πρεσβείες ελεημών εξάλειψαν τα πλήθη των αιμών εγκλημάτων. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O Lord, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Grace was poured upon your lips, O devout fathers. And you became shepherds of the Church of Christ, teaching the reasonable sheep to believe in the Trinity, coessential in one divinity. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your word with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and every Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the great Gregory the theologian, whose memory we celebrate, for, of, of, of the Spiridon, Bishop of Trimethus, the, 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 the holy great martyrs, George the notorious, the Theodore the Theodore the Theodore the Theodore the the holy Hiram martyrs, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the glorious and great martyr and all laudable Ephemia, the holy glorious and great martyrs, Ecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kitia, Kisofotia, of our venerable and godly fathers, of the holy and righteous and of God, Joachim and all the saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. You have taken to yourself, O Lord, the pinnacles among teachers, those sacred theologians and preachers, to enjoy your blessings and repose. For you accepted their labors and their toil as being higher than any whole burnt offering. For only you glorify your saints. Omonos doxos on tu sagiusu. Who is fit to open his lips and move his tongue to speak about these men who breathed fire and the power of word and spirit? Yet I will dare to say this much, that these three men excelled beyond all, all human nature in their many and great spiritual gifts, and in the active life as well as in contemplation. They surpassed even those who have proved illustrious in both. Therefore you counted them worthy of the greatest gifts, since they were your faithful servants, for, you, for only you glorify your saints. For only you glorify your saints. On January 30, we commemorate our devout fathers among the saints and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom. On this day, we also commemorate Athanasia and the martyr and her three daughters. On this day, we and this day was the contest of the holy hero martyr Hippolytus, Pope of Rome, and those with him, Censorinus, Sabianus, and Crisi, and the rest. On this day was a contest of the holy martyr Theophilus, the new, the holy nail martyr Theodore, who was from Mytilene and also witnessed there in the year 1784, died by hanging. By, the, their inter, by their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Oh, no. Persona visoto con perdon, ilios, repe poles sepote, o si tijos gore pagi, Ecatero cenidor, la opesando por un di, que cear estos mel pondi. Asomen to quirio, en doxos garde doxos te. As the firm support of those who hope in you firmly, O Lord and our Savior, support us, your holy church you purchased with your most precious blood of Christ. The were covered by your virtue, O Christ, for coming forth from the ark of your holiness, your mother was sustained no corruption. You appear today in your glorious temple as an infant held in arms and the entire creation was filled with your praise. Isaiah had mystically vision of God, sitting on the throne lifted up, and around him stood the glorious seraphim. The prophet cried out, Woe is me, with my eyes I have foreseen incarnated God, and he's the master of never setting light and peace. <coughs> A voice of the mist of Sotirion, all I sepestic, ec theo Christe, o theos mu. Servants 
in the furnace spoke of God. You bid you them of God the Lord, and you dwelled in the womb in the immaculate holy virgin. We praise you and sing to you devoutly. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. On home were the young men who were champions of believing God when they were thrown into the furnace and they faced unbearable fire and they sang a hymn to God all your works of the Lord bless the Lord and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and Mother of the Lord. <laughs> Tim di mio terra don cherubi che don sotera na singrito sto sera fi Tina di aftoros te ologon te cuso tinon dos te otokon se melanino For he has regarded the lowly state of maiden that behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the Cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the Seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and I truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. O ti epise megalio dinatos ke agio donum aftu, ke to eleos aftu is yene anke yene antis fomenis aftu. In the Mioter and Don Cherubin, Ken Doxoter and Asin Gritos to Serafin, In Adi Aftoros Teologon de Cusa, In Ondos Teotokos Megali No Me. He has strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud of the imagination of the heart. Greater than honor than the cherubim. In glory beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word. And I truly theotokos. You do we magnify. Being God and God the Lord was with ineffable wisdom come to make Adam new who fell through the foot into corruption and happily from all holy virgin ineffably he took on flesh for us for we expose the fully into his god ordering magnify most holy 
holy Theotokos save us, divine and blessed holy maiden. I entreat my petitions and all my hopes wholeheartedly to you. Save me, O Mother of genuine life, and make earnest entreaty that I may fill with everlasting joy. For with the faith I extol you and lordly magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us. By your appearance, O Virgin, as the gate of divine light illuminate the darkness of my soul with the material flashes of your light, I entreat you, O pure one, to excuse me from everlasting fire. For with thy faith I extol you and magnify, longly magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us, as you have observed in the sickness of the soul of the body and the bedridden and painful suffering. O Lady, being compassionate, grant the cure of release us from sorry troubles from blessed besetting us, so that we may extol you increasingly and magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Before the ages of fa the, the Father, from the womb he begat him, the Son who dwelled within your virgin womb and became truly perfect man, O pure Theotokos. He gave us your fountain gifts for us, who with faith duly worship you and ineffably your child for birth. O my soul, magnify those, those great illuminaries among the church's hierarchs, since we are the rational and invertible form and flock, for the sake of whom you in your life went to great pains. Behold, we assemble in one group, and we include the three of you together, and hold you sweet unity as a reason and commune praise. O my soul, magnify the threefold shining lights of the Church of Christ, your true light. Against those who opposing her grace pulled you cutting sword, which has not merely to the edges, but indeed has three, a single sword found in heaven and furnished with the, th the three sharp cutting edges in champions and divinity that shines with the threefold radiance. O oh, my soul, magnify the man who put the order in the Church of Christ, the Master, O oh, glorious hierarchs, while wear, wearing your unspotted flesh, your citizens who are in heaven all the same, genuinely dwelling therein, now so intercede for us who are ruling the same minds of our things above and, uh, and act accordingly. O oh, my soul, magnify her who is greater in honor and in glory than the armies of heaven. The breath of your mighty deeds, O lady, has confounded me, suffocating the discourse beneath its density. And it paradox paradoxically happens that I am at a loss in front of plenty, and therefore we glorify the Lord who magnified you so. O oh, my soul, magnify the three holy shepherds of the all-holy trinity. The virtue of the trinity is upraised. It has filled with its glory the universe. For unto us it has brightly shone forth another light, a threefold splendor like its own, effulgence, the heavenly mystagogues. For th through them we, are, we who are pious and orthodox are guided to contemplation of the Trinity. O oh, my soul, magnify the three great luminaries from the tri-solar Godhead. There is no second best in these sacred three. Each is thought to be foremost in precedence and to prevail over his co-rivals of equal rank but rather each with joy has made his own success of the other two. There is no room among them to envy one another and thus destroying their un unanimity. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O my soul, magnify the power of the Godhead that is three hypostasis and also undivided. Orthodoxy has brought forth her firstborn sons, namely these holy fathers through whom she now has given birth unto her legitimate undefiled children who are perfected by the Spirit who spoke in them of the true life. And now she, she is entreating that peace endure forever, since she received it as their legacy, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, my soul, magnify her who is more honorable than the armies of heaven. The summit of the wise teachers of the church clearly preach that your son is the son of the living God. Their initiation into this truth was by a revelation from the eternal father, not flesh and blood, they taught that you, a virgin, were nonetheless a mother, and Theotokos, whom they magnified. Theotokos, 
Pandundun Christianun Skepe frurin filate Tu selpizun En nomos kiake gramati Ti pon kati domeni pisti, pan arsen dotin mitran di anigon agi onteho, ti oproto to kologon patrosan arko ion, proto to kumeno mitri. Apirandro megalino me Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord Help us save us have mercy on us and protect us O God by your grace Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all holy those saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Come, let us all extol now the holy vessels of the light, those radiant bolts of lightning, namely. The grace and praise of the theologian, as well as John the Golden Man. One eternal God. For the Son and Holy Spirit, as the divine intercession of Basil Gregory and John, and of the pure Theotokos, may we not part from your glory. So blocota te pirie, que do de cati je polis, que lio stalak te throne, cathedra tu vasileos, a katanoi ton thavma, os galuhi, on the sports a good and sports and Ton Kirion, Ecton Uranon, Enite Aftun Endis, Ipsistis, Siprepi, Imnosto, Praise 
Him, all. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His souls. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. Are there any worthy crowns of praise so that we may lay them on the holy teachers? Although they were physically separated, yet in the spirit they were unified and they are chiefs of the God bearers the servants and numeric equals of the trinity they shone forth as luminaries of the universe and they are churches pillars and with the crowns of glory the three holy men have been crowned as victors by Christ our God, the Lord who possesses great mercy. Praise Him with a timbrel and dance. Praise Him with the spirits of flute. Are there any worthy words of praise so that we may say them to the hierarchs, peers of the apostles and their in grace? And equal sharers of the Spirit's gifts, they were the destroyers of the false doctrine, the saviors and truly guides in word and actual deeds. The shepherds who by their faith were imitated Christ. There were on earth virtual angels and heavenly mortals. They were greatly honored by Christ, the glorious King of all the world. Lord. Who possesses great mercy? Praise him with the resounding symbols. Praise him with the triumphal symbols. Let everything that priests praise the Lord. Are they any worthy crowns of praise to lay on John, whose words were golden, with the fallow basil and Gregory, for they were the spirits? receptacles and they were faith strong defenders the pillars of the church believers first support a shipment from the advocates of all who sin the wells if using the water that we may draw and drink from and the sweeten in our souls who are earnestly praying for forgiveness of sins and great mercy Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Today the souls of those born on earth are exalted from things earthly. Today they become heavenly in the memorial of the saints. For the gates of the heavens are lifted up and the affairs of the Master are made known to us. The words proclaim the words and the tongue sing of the miracles. And we cry out to the Savior, 
Glory to you, o Christ our God, for through them there's peace been made among the temple, Christ is brought as an infant. Today he who gave the law to Moses comes under the law himself. The armies of angels are struck with awe, seeing that he who holds the universe together is being held in the arms of an old man. Simeon, filled with reverence and joy, cries out, Now you release me, O Savior, in this mortal life, to one that never ends, for I have seen you and I am glad. Doxa sito, dixan tito fos, doxa en ipsis tisteo, que pigi sirini, er anthropis evdokia. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Kyrie Vasilefe Purani Ete Pater Pandokrado Kyrie Iemono Genesi Su Christe Ke Agion Pnerma Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father Who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us you who are with the sins of the world. Pros dexet idei sinimon, o kathimenos en dexiotu vatros, ke leisonimos. For you alone are holy, you are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Κάθε καστίνη μέρα ανευλογήσω σε και νέσω το όνομά σου εις τον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνος. Βαξέφ ο Λόδ της δε 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 και ναι το και δε δοξασμένο το όνομά σου εις τους αιώνας. Αμήν. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόμε τα δικαιώματά Σου Λέσαι Ραγιού, ο Λόρτ, teach me your statutes Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόμε τα δικαιώματά Σου Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Kyrie prosekate figo didaxo me tu pito thelimasu, otisi o theos mu. For you with you is fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Parati non to eleosu, tiginos kusise, agios o theos, agios ischiros, agios athanatos eleis. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios Ischiros, Agios Athanatos Eleisonimos. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Lord, have mercy on us. 
Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος Αθάνατος, Έλα ίσον ημών. As like manner to the apostles and teachers of the Christian world, intercede with the Master of all to grant peace to the whole world and grant mercy to our souls. Have long ye son, the spot Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most holy and glorious and glorious, the fair and the of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ευλογή ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα του Άγιον αυτού τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόπου σώτερ σώσον ημάς. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his reward through the intercessions of the Θεοτόπους Savior, save us. Κυρίως εν το ουρανό ετοίμασε το θρόνον αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου σώτερ σώσον ημάς. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. 
commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, who Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and our mother and our whole life to Christ our God. to you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I have lived. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous in your saints. We sing to you, Alleluia. Makarios, O Theos, Yaakov, Yoithos, Aftu. Η ελπίς αυτού επικύριον των Θεών αυτού, σώσον ημάς η Θεού, ο εναγής θαυμαστός, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. The Lord shall reign forever, O God of Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous on your saints. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for your salvation to take flesh from the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered dead by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Holy and Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Πυρσεύσαντα του μελυρίτου ποταμού τη Σοφία, του τυχτή συμβάσαν θεογνωσία. Να μα συγκαταρδεύσαντα βασίλειον των μέγαν, των θεολόγων γρηγορίων. Συντοκλίνω Ιωάννη. Το τη γλώτα χρυσορήμονη, πάντε σι των λόγων αυτών εραστε, συνελθόντε σι μνηστή μίσομε, αυτή γαρδί τριάδι περιμόν πρεσβεύουσι. Wisdom arise, come let us worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who is wondrous in your saints. We sing to you, Alleluia, to, uh, to those three men.
magnificent luminaries of the trial of Godhead, who feed us of the whole world with rays of divine darkness. Those four millions rivers of wisdom who irrigated all creation with the waters of the knowledge of God. Praise all the great and Gregory the theologian and the illustrious John whose tongue produced golden words. Let us all of us who are armored of the words come together and sing to honor them. For they are ever interceding with the Trinity on our behalf. You were transfigured upon the mountain, O Christ of God, showing to your disciples the glory as much as they could bear to also in our sinners though we may be shine your everlasting light for the intercession of the Theotokos O giver of life glory to Ram Barthani Kina Giasa to Tokosu, Kehira to Simeon Evlogisa so se prepe, Prophasas Keninesso Sasimas Christeo Theos, Alirinevson and Bolemis, Tobolitevma, Kekrateo so Vasilis, Usigapisas, O Monos. Philanthropo. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy. 
mercy on us. Dinami nevinamis agios o Theos agios ischiros agios athanatos eleison imas Let us be attentive Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers for you are just in all you have done Wisdom The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews Let us be attentive Brethren, remember your leaders those who spoke to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings. For it is well that we all heard. Be strengthened by grace, not by foods. But we have not benefited their adherents. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have to, the right to eat. For the bodies of those animals, those who blood have brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin, are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order that we sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore let us go forth to him outside the camp and hear the abuse he endured. For there we have no lasting city, but the secret city of which is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share with what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Peace be with you who rest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, arise. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Lord said to his disciples, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, truly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all that is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men to do so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Lord.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Wisdom, that ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Oh, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. 
For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For that which is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Yes, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins and the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages peace be with all and with your spirit let us bow our heads to the lord oh, yeah. let us love one another that with one mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in our sins, and undivided. Tas tiras, tas tiras, and Sophia proskomen, the doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. Believe in one God. Maker of heaven and earth and all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate and he suffered and he was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life to the ages to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. To you, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to him you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you and to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever and forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things that we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that be heaven bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, 
even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Dona Penicio Nino Naruda Vaunda Kegragota Kelegonda. Holy, holy, holy Lord Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. O Son of Together with these blessed powers, Master, who loves mankind, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. When he had come and had fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of our salvation, on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Labete fagete tutumo estito soma, tui perimon crominon, isafesi de martion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Pietex aftu pandes, tu dos tito e mamu, tu tiskinis diatikis, tu iperimon kapaloniki nomenon, isafesina martion. Remembering, therefore, this commandment and all that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming again. Your own of your own we offer to you, in all and for all. Tasaik ton son si pros ferumen, katapanda kedia panda. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. Resurrection. 
Remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant him to your holy churches in safety, peace, safety, honor, and health until length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind, and all the people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live, and every city and land, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, those who are mindful of the poor, that upon us all send forth your mercies. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us, let us pray to the Lord. That our good God who loves mankind, having accepted them, at his holy and celestial and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. <laughs> Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. <laughs> We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, for the forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you and not under judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, O oh, Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O San Urano, che è di Sgis, ton arto ni monto ne biusion, dosi mi insimero, che affe si minta felima daimon, o che mi sa fiem su filete simon, che mi sa nenge si ma spirasmo, alla risa i ma sa potu poniru. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. And with thy spirit, let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy you brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all. Whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. 
through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us invisibly here, and with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive, prosco man, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, O oh Lord, that you are truly the Son of the living God who came into the world to save sinners, whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for holy communion, O Creator, bear me not as I partake, for you are of the fire which burns the unworthy. Wherefore do you cleanse me from every stain? Tremble, O mortal, behold in the divine blood, for it is the unworthy as a live coal. But the body of God both deifies and nourishes me, deifies my soul, and wondrously nourishes my mind. How shall I believe the unworthy enter into the splendor of your saints? If I enter into a bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me. Since it is not a wedding garment, being bound up, I shall be cast out by your angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not this holy gift be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but let them be for the cleansing and sanctification of my soul and body and for the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good to me to cling to God and to place him in the hope of my salvation. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with your divine love you have changed me. For you do you burn away your spiritual fire of my sins and make me worthy to be filled with your joy of you. The rejoicing in your goodness I may magnify both your advents. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss at just Judas. But as a thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Behold, I draw near to my immortal King and God. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. He
in the fear of God and with faith and love, draw near. Lord Jesus Christ, for the mystery of sin, supplies for everlasting on earth. The servant of God, sin, and protects the precious and holy body of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the mystery of sin, supplies for everlasting on earth. The servant of God, and he protects the precious and holy body of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the mystery of sin, supplies for everlasting on earth. The servant of God, the lion, protects the precious and holy body of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the mystery of sin, supplies for everlasting on earth. The servant of God, Maria, Maria protects the precious of holy body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ for the mystery of sins and life for last. Amen. <coughs> servant of God, protects the precious of holy body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ for the mystery of sins and for life for last. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always known forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, Christopher, protects the precious of holy body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Servant of God, Michael protects the precious of holy body, blood of Jesus Christ, from mystery of sins, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. In Alithia, the Ereto, Triada Broskinundes, Aftigarimos, Esos. We have seen the true light, they have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, for the Trinity had saved us. Idomendo fosto alithinun, elavome, Blessed is our God, 
always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Yes. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you, and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. On this day, the Church commemorates the three hierarchs, three of the shining lights of theology and the formation of the Church in its, in its infancy, in establishing uh, the, the liturgy, for example, the liturgy with just did, the uh, liturgy of St. Basil the Great, one of the three hierarchs here that are commemorated. Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom. Uh, last night I did, did a brief recounting of where this feast came from. It came out actually one of the later feasts in our church, uh, meaning 11th century. And there, apparently that was at a time in Constantinople where such was the devotion of so many people for one of these saints that it turned into a competition. There were those who liked, uh, thought that uh, Basil the Great was the greatest, the greatest of the three, and the other two, not so much. Some were big fans of John Chrysostom, but not so much the other two. Others were uh, big fans of uh, Gregory the Theologian. And so they turned into a, a kind of a sad and a, a very unchristian situation that was starting to harm the unity of the church. At that time, the, one of the bishops of the church had a dream, and that was the, these three theologians appeared to him, first one at a time, and then together, and in so many words uh, told uh, this bishop, not, not the patriarch, but one of the bishops in or around Constantinople, and basically said, stop this. The, tell, tell the people, we are all the same. We are all here. We are all it's, uh, it's worshiping before the throne of God. We are all the same. We are all brothers. We all shared in the unity of the faith. We're all shared in the, in the, the, the love of the Lord. We share everything equal. And, and we are not in competition with each other. And it is, it was, in our opinion, this is a, 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 a bad thing for the people to be doing. And so they said, they told the bishop, who I guess was skilled in, in such matters, they said, create a new feast for all three of us together. 
and, and compose the, the verses and the literature and, the, uh, and, and make, make that a symbol and, uh, and a, a new feast of the church to unite, not just, we don't need uniting, but the people must be united uh, in their honor. If they're going to honor us, do it in that way together and not in some sort of competition. And so it was done so, and that, that it was celebrated shortly thereafter on the 30th, on the 30th of January today, which is why it falls on the 30th uh, of, of every year. So that's, uh, that's where this story began. But it also has much to teach us, I think, in, uh, we, we live in a very competitive world, and everybody has, this is the best. Fords are better than Chevys. Teslas are better than uh, uh, other cars. I mean, there's a lot. Of, we like to form these little silly lists. If you, if, uh, whenever I get on YouTube, I say the five best whatever. Fill in the blank. The five best pasta recipes. That seems to be a spirit that is also taking place in our own world today. But yet, the story of the three hierarchs reminds us of something that is very deeply embedded in our faith. We all as Orthodox more than any other expression of Christianity are very mindful of the Holy Trinity. How often in our services, in our prayer life, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we do that so instinctively. And what do we believe about the Holy Trinity? Other, other Christian confessions believe in the Trinity too, but for them it's kind of like a E equals MC squared. To, to many other Christians, yeah, I believe in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the same way I believe E equals MC squared. I'm not sure what it means, but I believe in it. But we as Orthodox have it woven pretty much into our spiritual DNA. No, the, the, having one God, but yet subsisting in three separate persons, and all three are one in essence. There is no competition between the Father and the Son. There is no rivalry between the Son and the Holy Spirit. All three are in perfect harmony. They, they function in different ways. They have different roles in the salvation of humanity. But yeah, they're, they are all separate, but they're, they're separate in personalities, or persons, I should say. Separate in persons, but one in the faith, one in essence. This is woven into our creed, and it's deep within us. And this is, we must also remember that all of us are created in the image, not, um, not just the image of God, but also created in the image of a Trinitarian God. And the Trinitarian nature of God has been embedded with us too. All of us are only one person at a time, but this concept of, of people being bad, banded together, the Trinity is the paradigm of all human relationships. All human relationships and all are significant. So whenever we uh, gather together as a church, we are, we are living out this Trinitarian concept of, uh, that is, was demonstrated to us by the three hierarchs that we honor today. Well, we are multiple people from different backgrounds, different skills, different gifts. Different, things are very, very different amongst us, but yet when we gather in worship, we are all one. We're all here to unify ourselves and honor and praise God in worship. But this is also goes far beyond just the church life. It also ideally extends towards your family. Different people sometimes don't always agree with each other, but they're one family in the same, same common goals. In businesses, in schools, in, in clubs, anytime a group of people gather together and, the, and they express and they live out that sense of one, having multiple people but one purpose that they're all striving towards, that's actually the Trinitarian of the, the, the Trinitarian nature of God that has been implanted in all of us. It often does not work out very well, but this is the goal. This is the ideal for which we were created. I read, St. Paul doesn't use the word Trinity, but he describes this unity of, of purpose but diversity of persons beautifully in 1 Corinthians 12. He says, If the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, then where would be the hearing? If, 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 there were, if the whole were hearing, then where would be the smelling? But now God has set the members, each of them, in the body just as he pleased. Now, but now indeed there are many members, 
but one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again can the head say to the feet, I have no need of you. No, much rather, those members of the body which seem weaker are necessary. There should be no schism in the body, but that members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. So as it should be, as Paul was describing and as that was role modeled for us by the three great hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, so should we strive to exercise these Trinitarian principles that's already built in and baked into us. And it should be the same with us, that we take our part, use our skills that have been given to us to supplement all the skills given not to us, but to others around it, all for the building of the faith and glorifying the church, glorifying God and his church. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers and through the prayers of the three great hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of our father among the saints John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we celebrated, of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord Joachim and Anna, of the, the three hierarchs Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and merciful and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity grant you protection this day and always. Also, we want to send a Cornelia Pola to all those either present or watching a, a video for those who celebrate the, as uh, their name days these great and wonderful saints. Our next service, I believe, will be three. three uh, check this, the church calendar. I believe it's Thursday evening, Vespers, and, and the Divine Liturgy uh, uh, on Friday morning. That will be 845, just uh, Orthros will be 845, just as it was today. So have a blessed day. Uh, uh, Ganku has prepared his uh, gift to the church. 